Well, just moments ago, we took you inside the new Firekeepers Casino. And right now, we're going to go back live to Battle Creek, where Dee Morrison is standing by. She's talking to a marketing director with the casino about what's next. Good morning, Dee. Good morning, guys. And now I'm actually outside the Firekeepers Casino. It looks really cool as you're driving up. You can see the lights. There's some big screens out there, and you can actually hear the music bumping from the parking lot. Then you walk inside, and you think you just stepped into Vegas. And here to tell you a little more about what you'll find when it's your turn to step through those doors is the marketing director for Firekeepers Casino. This is Michael Facenda joining us this morning. You and I just uh, walked around in there, showed us around a little bit. Tell everybody what they'll find when it's their turn to walk through the doors. Oh, I think they're going to find a fun, friendly, vibrant, and upscale casino with 2,600 slot machines, 78 table games, 120 seat poker room, and five great restaurants. And I know something they'll also find uh, a lot of maybe their friends and family employed here 1,500 workers, permanent workers, I know employed at the casino at this time. Can you tell us a little bit about what kind of economic impact that you're looking at in the community here? It's been quite a, a, a nice impact on this community, you know, 1,500 jobs as you mentioned, 700 construction jobs on top of that, and it's been a 10-year process for this tribe to get this place up and running, so uh, you know, we're happy to be able to bring it to Battle Creek. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about what's going on later this morning. I know there's uh, an announcement people have been waiting for that should be coming out in oh, about two hours from now, three hours from now. Yeah, we've uh, excited to have a media day here today, have all the media come in and, and get a good look at the property, and uh, there will be a press conference, which will be quite interesting, I think. Thanks a lot, Michael. Appreciate your time this morning. We're told part of that press conference will be an announcement about when the doors will be open to the public. We'll have all of that for you today. You can check it out online at woodtv.com. We'll also have it on air right here. Back to you.